Let us now move on to the category of poor responders and patients with egg problems. We all know that in the modern world, a lot of women are opting for a good career option. In the bargain, they decide for a late marriage and also decide to delay childbearing often to the late 30s or even the early 40s. As an unfortunate side effect, they often reach an age where their fertility is severely compromised. This loss of ovarian reserve indicating fewer number of eggs is often seen in young patients as well. The best test for this problem is the serum AMH level which can be done at any time of the menstrual cycle with a regular pathology lab. This test can also help predict the time on hand and forewarn women of the need to start a family or at least get their eggs frozen with a good fertility unit which specializes in oocyte freezing and vitrification. This has come as a big boon to these women because they need not have to worry about losing their fertility completely if and when they decide to settle down in life and have children. If they have their eggs frozen at a younger age, these can then be used at a later date so that the woman can still have her own biological or genetic child without resorting to the use of donor eggs. If she has not frozen her eggs and is unfortunate to have a low AMH level when she walks into her IVF clinic, there are several other treatment options too for these patients. Pre-treatment with something, a simple supplement called DHEA, 75 milligrams per day might benefit a few of these patients. For the others, there are options, one such as down regulation protocol using a GnRH agonist with very high dose of FSH or HMG which has been in use for more than 20 years. We have newer low dose FSH protocols where the aim is to get fewer eggs but better quality eggs. We have IVF light protocols which use simple tablets such as clomiphene citrate, very few injections. And more recently, we have introduced a modified natural cycle IVF wherein there is no artificial stimulation of the ovaries. We just want that one good natural egg that the woman will produce in her own natural cycle. All these approaches do not have the same fantastic success rate as routine IVF in younger patients with normal AMH. That is, they would not expect a success rate of 50%, but they have a reasonable success rate in the range of 10 to 20% per started cycle of IVF. There is also a new approach of freezing embryos in two to three subsequent stimulation cycles, freezing and then thawing all of them and transferring them in a well-monitored uh, cycle where the uterus is well prepared to accept these frozen embryos.